Okay, we have another one. We want to use the remainder theorem to find a remainder when our f of x given here is divided by x plus 5. So in the last video, I talked about what the remainder theorem is. Again, the remainder theorem uh, means that whatever I divide this, if I'm dividing this, that means that I'm actually going to find out what the value of f of negative 5 is. If I find f of negative 5 and put negative 5 into all this, that should be the same exact answer as if I do synthetic division with the plus 5. So let's do synthetic division with that first. We're going to do negative 5 goes down here in the box. This is written highest to lowest power. Uh, there's nothing missing, no terms missing there, so that means I can go ahead and put these coefficients in as is. And we get that. And now we're going to go through the synthetic division steps. Okay, we drop the 2 down automatically, multiply these. Negative 10 goes underneath the next column, then we do adding. So we get 2, multiply, negative 10, we add that together. Negative 4, multiply that, we get positive 20. Add that together, we get 15. 15 times negative 5 is negative 75. And then we add that together and we get a 0. What this means right here, the remainder, that means that that's what f of negative 5 equals. That's how the remainder theorem works. So therefore, if I put negative 5 in for all the x's, kind of the similar thing I did for the previous video, we should get a 0 for the answer, and that's the same exact result as if when we put negative 5 into here. So whatever number is inside the parentheses, that's also the same one you put inside the box. These are always going to match each other. So it means that the remainder that they're asking for, it's going to be 0. That answers the first question. Then it says, then use the factor theorem to determine if x plus 5 is a factor. Okay, if x plus 5 is a factor, that means it divides in evenly, and we should get a remainder of 0. So because of the factor theorem, we can say that, yes, x plus 5 is a factor of f of x. And the reason why, again, is because we got a remainder of 0. That's the only way that something is a factor, is when you go through synthetic division and you get a 0 as a result, that tells you it definitely is going to be a factor. So 0 answers the first part, and, and yes would answer the second part, it is going to be a factor.